Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have m square into m equals to minus 8 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here the very first step we are going to do is uh, you see uh, these are two uh, variables are multiplied by each other whose bases are same. Uh, so according to the nice exponential law we just add the exponents of these two terms. So when you add the exponents, it will be written as m to the power of 2 plus 1 equals to minus 8. So uh, this will becomes here m to the power of 3 and now we move this minus 8 in the left hand side and it will becomes here plus 8 equals to 0. And now in the next step, we rewrite this equation as m cubed plus here you have 8 and we write it as 2 cubed equals to 0. And now you see here we have m cubed plus a cubed. So here we apply the nice uh, cubic identity. And you know about this, uh, this formula. If we have a cubed plus b cubed, it is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square. So here we use this nice formula. Uh, to the above equation. So in the above equation we have the value of a is m and the value of b is 2. So that we substitute these two values of a and b in this below formula and it will be written as a plus b. So our a is m and plus b is 2 into a square. So our a is m square minus a b. So our a is m and b is 2 plus b square. So our b is 2 square and this whole equation equals to 0. So here uh, we need a little bit simplification in the second factor. So uh, we make first simplification here and we have m plus 2 into m square and we have this is minus 2 m plus 2 square equals to 4 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now in the next step uh, we convert this uh, uh, equation into the two cases so that our first case is we take uh, m plus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we take uh, m square minus 2 m plus 4 equals to 0. So now in the next step, uh, for, uh, in the first uh, case, we get the value of m is equals to minus 2. So this is the first real solution of the given equation. And now in the next step, here we need to solve this quadratic equation. Uh, so that here we solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. Uh, so that here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 2 and c equals to 4. So these are the coefficients of the above equation and now we use the quadratic formula so that the quadratic formula is written as m equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the our uh, nice quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a, b and c here and first we have the value of b is minus 2. We substitute it here it will become minus times of minus 2 plus minus uh, square root of b square. So b is minus 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 4 divided by 2 times of a and our a is also 1. So here we need uh, some simplification and we have this is minus times of minus becomes plus 2 plus minus square root of minus 2 square and minus 2 square equals to plus 4 and this is minus 4 times of 4 becomes minus 16 divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. So now in the next step uh, here we subtract 4 by 16 and it will be written as 2 plus minus uh, square root of 4 minus 16 and 4 minus 16 equals to minus 12 divided by 2. So here in the next step we uh, copy down this equation here and we have m equals to uh, 
टू प्लस माइनस स्के रूट ऑफ माइनस ट्वेल्व एंड वी राइट दिस माइनस ट्वेल्व एज फोर टाइम्स ऑफ थ्री बिकम्स ट्वेल्व एंड वी राइट माइनस वन एज स्के रूट ऑफ माइनस वन एंड इट इज डिवाइडेड बाय टू and now in the next step we have 2 plus minus so we know that the square root of 4 is equals to 2 into and this is square root of 3 and we know that minus 1 square root equals to iota and it, it is it is divided by 2 so here we separate this fraction and it will be written as m equals to 2 over 2 plus minus 2 into square root of 3 Divided by two, so here these are cancelled by each other, and we get m equals to one plus minus. These are also cancelled by each other, and we get square root of three into iota. So these are the two complex roots of the given equation, and we have this is our one real root. So these are the three roots of the given equation. and now in the next step we check these solutions here we have three solutions so we check these three solution is these three solution satisfied our given question or not so here we copy down the given question statement it is m square into m equals to minus 8 so now first we verify our first solution so here you have m equals to minus 2 we substitute it here it will becomes minus 2 square into minus 2 equals to minus 8 So minus two square is four into minus two equals to minus eight, and we get here minus eight equals to minus eight. So this shows that m equals to minus two satisfied our given question statement. So now here we uh, move towards our second solution, and our second solution is one plus square root of three iota. So this is the our complex solution so now uh, we uh, verify our second complex solution so now we again substitute this value uh, on the left hand side and it will be written as 1 plus square root of 3 iota and its whole square into 1 plus square root of 3 iota equals to minus 8 and here we use the nice square identity and it will be equals to a square plus uh, b square and plus two times of a b so our a b is square root of three iota into we have one plus square root of three into iota so this is equals to minus eight and here we have one minus three and plus two times of square root of three iota and one plus square root of three iota equals to minus eight. so that here we obtain 1 minus 3 is minus 2 plus 2 times of square root of 3 iota and 1 plus square root of square root of 3 iota equals to minus 8 so here we take common uh, minus from these two terms minus 2 so you get here 1 minus square root of 3 iota into 1 plus square root of 3 iota equals to minus 8 So this is a minus b into a plus b, and here we get one uh, square minus square root of three iota square equals to minus eight. So finally we get here one minus three iota square and uh, equals to minus eight. So iota square equals to again minus one, and minus minus becomes plus one. So one plus three is four, and four times of minus two is minus eight equals to minus eight. So the second uh, complex solution also satisfied the given question statement. Similarly, you verify our third uh, solution. So this one, this is also satisfied our, our given question statement. So it means that. all three solutions are satisfied the given question statement and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos